Hello there and welcome to another Swigging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. And the topic of conversation at the end of this red ballpoint pen is Yeasty Boys. And it's their Pot Kettle Black South Pacific Porter. We don't usually get beers like this on Swigging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. But this came in at 69 pence at good old trustworthy um, home bargains. It's a 330 bottle. So um, we have to take that into consideration of course. But I think that's a really decent bargain considering this is a craft beer nothing on the bottle cap let's see how she pours mm, that looks nice and silky oh, slow it down a bit okay so she's settled down a little bit now I'm going to give that a little swish I can't pour it on its side when I'm filming with one hand it's difficult Give that a little bit of a swish. I'm going to go in for a smell. Mmm, it's lovely. That that smells really lovely. It's very it's very citrusy. Maybe not. It's very fruity. Getting like a piney note off there. Um, getting like the malts. Obviously the roasted and dark. Possibly some chocolate malts. It smells very sweet actually. It smells sweet, very fruity. Getting black currants on that. Getting like limes and sort of lemons on it as well, possibly. It's got an overwhelming quite sweetness to it. Um, but yeah, really, really fruity. Almost like getting a bit of a an orange skin on that and all. Palm of violets. I'm getting a bit of palm of violet on there, I think. Yeah, so it's got loads of these um, continental hops that we're used to seeing these days. It looks gorgeous. It's really, really, it's, uh, it's pretty dark. Don't get much darker than that. Slight tinge of brown in there. A very, very deep sort of brown colour. Okay, here we go. That's the time. Let's start drinking. I've heard lots of good things about the um, Yeasty Boys. And this is the first time I've tried theirs and... <laughs> Surprisingly, it's come at a bargain store, which is really strange. Just trying to get some more of that smell in again, and as the as the, as the uh, sort of um, carbonation settles a little bit, lovely lacing on the glass, which shows it's made with good quality, good quality ingredients, nice thick, sort of hopefully full-bodied stout. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Mm. Really nice. It's almost like um, you're getting lots of these um, piney, citrusy flavours from your IPAs, you know. And then it's like mixed in there with a, a, a very decent tasting stout. It's got chocolatey notes to this. Um... I'd give that a full, I'd say so that's pretty full bodied. Carbonation's spot on, it's so drinkable, really, really smooth, silky. On the taste, um, quite sweet still. Uh, some people might say that's very sweet. And it's got a lingering dry bitterness that claws away a little bit as it, as it, uh, as it descends down your throat, you know. Uh, overall, a lovely beer, really, really lovely. The citrusiness is more and more apparent the more you drink. But it is really drinkable. Six percent. This is coming in on. Yeah, I'm getting the uh, sort of palm of violets coming through a little bit on the on the flavour, not as much as on the smell. Um, but really, really drinkable. It's um. If you don't like your really dry, citrusy, bitter beers, it might not be for you, this. Um, it might put a few people off. Because it, it, it's not your traditional stout, obviously, because it's got all these, like, frisky hops from uh, the continent. Or uh, across the other side of the world, wherever they're coming from, these hops. Um, to me, it's probably got, like, some citra in there, or some... 
possibly Amarillo or Chinook hops in. I'm not quite sure. But it's a lovely beer. It's got a lovely stout ground into it with these hops that are put in and it does add an extra dimension and it is very, very pleasant. Little black currant notes, like I said, on the smell. I mean, with on the smell, any sweet berry, you could almost go as far as saying like things like strawberries as well. Top stout, use the voice. Just a close look at the artwork. Quite nice. Nothing too exciting. Quite simple. Um, it says, fresh and hoppy, yet rich and black. Mind-bendingly delicious and true original. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I'd say that. It is a lovely beer. And it's brewed uh, by Brewdog. So... They're using uh, Brewdog as a facility to brew their beers, and that's based in Aberdeenshire, I believe, in Scotland. 6% and a 330 bottle. Don't drink if you're pregnant. In conclusion, stout with a difference. Although a lot of stouts are going down this avenue now. Um, I'm torn a little bit, to be honest with you. I like stouts to be stouts. However... I've got to I've got to give credit where credit's due. It tastes lovely. It does taste nice, um, and the stout does take over the fruity flavour more. Anyway, the fruity flavour is a little bit more subtle. All you're getting mainly is the dry bitterness uh, that's coming through from those citrusy hops. But very pleasant, very drinkable, and very Moorish. It doesn't taste like six percent. I'd say you know if someone said how strong is that, I wouldn't say six percent. So uh, yeah. Uh, scores on the board, 69p. It's a lovely beer, great quality. Uh, I'm going to give it a strong 8.2 out of 10. Definitely be trying some more Yeasty Boy stuff, regardless of the price. Um, get yourselves down to own bargains, people, and just see what's in that 69p shelf, because there's absolutely tons of stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and do some more commercial beers next. Maybe I've got some pedigrees and I've got some Cumberland Ales and stuff lined up. So I might do some more uh, su regular supermarket beers. But while these 69p ones are coming in, I can't say no. So anyway, till next time, uh, up to see you around. Uh, please comment, please subscribe. Uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.